This is the Shine On You Crazy Daisy podcast, and I'm your host, Trudy Simmons from the Daisy Chain Group, providing platforms for women entrepreneurs to be seen and heard. This platform is for women entrepreneurs that want to hear the real stories of what it takes to be yourself and run a business with all the different hats that you might have to wear. These are the stories of the tenacious, the rebellious, and the resilient women that are working towards the future that they want to build for themselves and their families. Hello and welcome to the Shine On You Crazy Daisy podcast. And today I have the wonderful Pat McGuire from Pat McGuire Natural Body Balms and Oils. I love that. <laughs> Pat, thank you so much for being a part of the book and the podcast. Please tell us about your business. Hi, yes, I, I make natural body balms and oils from scratch using my own unique recipes. They're 100% natural, um, handmade and... Um, yeah, they, I have a range of face oils, body balms, including a, a natural muscle um, and joint ease balm, which has been very successful. It's one of my best sellers, actually. Amazing. So, yeah, that's, that's me. That's what I do. Well, your chapter was like reading a roller coaster, and we'll come back to that. <laughs> there was quite a few years that you didn't stop learning. But how did it feel at that time when you just kept finding something else to learn and, and put into yourself? It felt absolutely great. Um, it, it was exciting. My brain felt like it had been starved of, of education for years, which it probably had. Um, so just to get those cogs going again, you know, the wheels turning, and, and it just felt like my brain was thirsty and hungry for more and more information, and I absolutely loved it. It, it excited me. It filled me with confidence. It boosted my self-esteem. So yeah, it was, I just didn't want to stop learning. I loved it. I loved the subject. It's, it's almost like that was my calling my whole life. I didn't know what to do with my life. Um, I was never so enthusiastic about what I was doing. So yeah, it was really good. And what kinds of things did you go and learn? I learned aromatherapy. Um, but I actually, initially, I learned the anatomy and physiology and body massage. Mm. And I absolutely loved the anatomy and physiology. I love learning more in depth about the body, the muscular system, and working with the oils. You know, it, it, it was amazing to to learn about them, and yeah, the, the, the whole all the systems in the body. It was just great. I love it when people go and study and they put all these pieces together, and it's like this is my life. This is what I've always aimed to do, and that seems like what you've done is decided I'm going to do one thing, and it just grew and grew and grew. Yes. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yes. Okay. And then after all these years of studying and kind of putting things together, your your second marriage broke up and your mum got an awful diagnosis and it happened in a really short amount of time. How did you deal with these things whilst you were working so hard and what changed for you and your business? Um, yeah, it was a real juggling act. I, I was in, yeah, it was a roller coaster. I roller coaster of emotions. Um, to some degree, I couldn't control the events that were unfolding, like mum's illness and my marriage breakup, but I was in control of my business in some ways, and then maybe I focused a bit more on that and lost myself in, in the work, which took away a lot of the pain. But yeah, it was I was working back to back with clients, so it was literally a treadmill I couldn't get off at that time. So um, yeah, it's... I think, yeah, when mum passed away a few months later, I went on a break on holiday and I realised that I didn't want to work that way anymore. I'd, I'd just been working back about the client for years and I kind of lost the holistic way I liked to work originally with my aromatherapy oils. So I thought, well, let's take this back. I need a much slower pace at work. And I was very successful. I mean, I, I, it was brilliant. That's what I'd worked up towards, but then I've gone a little bit in overdrive, so I've gone a bit too too far with this now. I need to take it back. So I did. I I left the, the busy clinic where I was working, and I found a, a, a nice local homeopathic clinic where everything. So I didn't work back about the clients, and yeah, I I could spend more time with them, listen to more building better relationships with my clients and yeah it was, it was much healthier for me 
as that, well. That, yeah, that's the wonderful thing is when we are in our businesses, sometimes we forget that these things that we're helping others with, we need to be doing for ourselves. And it sounds like that's kind of the, the, the revelation you came to was I'm doing all of these things for other people, but it's hurting my health. Yes. And recovery as well from grief. That must have been a difficult time to kind of put all of those pieces together for yourself. Yes, and I think that it, it took me longer to, to get over mum's death, actually. Um, it was quite traumatic. I remember feeling really, really traumatised. Um, so I know I, I then, on the holiday, I just that was just the break that I needed. That was just so... Um, healing it was a really healing break so tranquil and that's when I thought I need to stop or I'm going to burn out and I need to be able to reflect and I need to be able to breathe properly yeah which I hadn't done because I'd lost myself in work well and I think this is where I was going to come to next is that your chapter is like a speed train and that feeling of breathing I think is a really important thing to do when you're just go 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 but you have so much drive and energy for what you're passionate about how did the oils and balms come about? Why did you go and decide from massaging and helping people with the holistic view to creating your own? And um, well, I've worked as part of being a Roman therapist, you know, you, you work with essential oils anyway. And, and you know, for years I've seen the benefits that they, they give to people. And I thought, you know, there's I'm very passionate about natural health, I'm very passionate about what I put on my skin. I don't like all the chemicals that, you know, we use some so many chemicals and we've got pollutions in the outside there. But yeah, I quite often um, working as a massage therapist, you're seeing people in pain. So I wanted to create, and I did create quite successfully, um, a natural muscle and joint ease balm. Mm. So I was encouraged, clients loved it so much, they encouraged me to then retail it. So I did, I got them all approved by the the um, cosmetic safety assessment team and that's that's what came about really and then I'm also quite passionate about how products feel on the skin I could I'd always go around shopping trying to find a nice natural product that felt nice on the skin mm. that didn't have strong aromas and it was very gentle so I thought I'm going to make my own I'm going to start making so I, that expanded then so I went from the muscle and joint balm to then the other products like hand balm body moisturizers, face moisturizers. Very successfully. And they are beautiful. Yes. I've tried them. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Pat. And if there was one lesson that you would want other entrepreneurs to know, what would it be? It would be, it's okay to be yourself. Be yourself, um, be genuine, be honest, and to engage with people, engage and build valuable relationships, good relationships. Um, and to be a person of value and to not, every time you meet a new connection, don't try and sell them your product or your service. Just just be you. Yeah. And that's that's enough. Build the know, like, and trust. Build the know, like, and trust, yeah. Don't keep going in for a hard sell because it won't work. Yeah, no, absolutely. And um, what's your favourite piece of business software? I'd say it has to be um, social media apps, um, and that's a great way to to engage with people and to show who you are and what you do. Um, and words, I don't think I'd be without words. That's my favourite. So yes, always on. I don't words. think anybody said that. And I think it's it's so fundamental to everything that we do to have the the places to go and write everything down. So yeah, that's brilliant. Yes, Pat. Congratulations on what you have built so far and, and the journey that you've been on and, and how you've got to where you are. So thank you so much for being a part of the book and the podcast. Thank you very much. I'm really excited to be pleased to be a part of it. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching the Shine On You Crazy Daisy podcast. If you've liked what you've seen today, then please make sure that you click the subscribe button to this channel to see more inspiration and motivation as more of these stories keep coming out. And if you want even more, click on the link below this video and go and have a look at the series of books, Shine On You Crazy Daisy, and get even more inspiration and motivation for you and your business.